Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another super fast Ninja Android app review. This review is being brought to you by AntiTags.com, a soon to be opening store that's going to be selling NFC stickers that you can use with your NFC enabled Android phone. Anyway, getting right to it, I'm going to be doing a really quick review of the uh, live wallpaper app called Floating Image. Uh, which allows you to set any images you have stored on your phone as well as pull images from Facebook and other feeds to uh, have them floating by in the background on your home screen. So let's hop on my phone and I'll just show you briefly uh, how this app works and uh, why I think it's really cool. So this is my home screen. As you can see, I've got a background that is white and you see lots of pictures uh, zooming by on my home screen. Uh, this is the app floating gallery live wallpaper and basically it's pulling some of these images from my Facebook uh, photo albums as well as some uh, from my phone. Uh, but you can change these settings so let me show you real quick. I'm not going to show you all of them since this is a super fast ninja review but uh, if you go into floating images you do have options. Uh, for one you can instead of doing a floating you can do a slideshow. So if you do a slideshow it's just going to show one picture at a time. It's more full screen. The pictures will be higher resolution, much clearer. But to me that doesn't make a great wallpaper. Um, because, again, you're talking about being on your home screen. Your home screen is not about just sitting there looking at pictures. It's about doing something. The live wallpaper is just a backdrop to whatever it is you're actually doing on your home screen. So uh, you do have that option, though, if you want. Um, but I use the floating gallery, which if you go to display mode, you'll see the bottom is floating images, which is basically what this app is called and what it's known for and what it's really cool. But even within that, you can choose the movement. If you want it to go from right to left, uh, down, up, hyperspeed, tabletop, which is where the pictures just start stacking on top of each other. Um, we'll switch it to right. And then we're going to also change the speed. We'll go to normal. You get fast, super fast, normal, slow, super slow. Um, then the background color, I'm going to change to pure black. But you've got various colors you can choose from there. Um, as well as a couple of settings you can do to either try to improve the quality of the pictures or uh, make them look cooler or change things to make get better battery life. But I've been using this for a couple of days uh, on my Galaxy and I haven't really noticed an effect on the battery life. Um, I'm not someone that spends a lot of time on my home screen. Usually if I'm on my phone, you know, my home screen is going to be up for a little bit, but basically I'm there to get into an app or into something else. So anyway, uh, obviously if you just sit and stare at your home screen for hours, then having any live wallpaper is going to uh, burn more battery. But uh, if you look on Google Play, uh, the developer does have some tips as to things, settings that will help uh, with uh, the um, battery power. Also, want to show you real quick. Uh, you, these are all my feeds from my phone, uh, from the uh, internal memory and the uh, external SD card. You can pick specific folders, or you can pick a folder that has subfolders and say pull everything from every folder. Um, I also have a couple of Facebook feeds, and these are the various feeds that are available: your phone, Flickr, Picasa, Facebook, 500 Pix, Put a Bucket, and RSS. Uh, and also, if you want, you can have Flickr Explorer, which will just pull in the 500 most interesting pictures daily. So you never know what you're going to get if you do that. Um, so now going back, as you can see, now the photos are floating from left to right. And I have a black screen. And it's uh, uh, just a moderate pace, which to me is the best because this looks like a background. Uh, the pictures that are pulled from Facebook in this mode are a little bit less. Uh, of a, of a quality there, there, they can come across blurry sometimes. That's just because, think of everything this wallpaper is doing, is taking your photos and minimizing them to a thumbnail, uh, angling them at times, and especially having to pull those from Facebook, it takes a little bit of a time and effort to do that. But uh, anyway, that's a really quick review of live wallpaper. So that was Floating Image Live Wallpaper. As you can see, in this brief short review, there are a lot of cool things you can do with it. It has a lot of potential. If you want to see uh, a more in-depth review with more information and details on the various settings, then just click the link below. Otherwise, until next time, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.